Hi, welcome to Dishing Diabetes. In this video, I'm going to explain what type 1 diabetes is. Type 1 diabetes, or T1D, is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks beta cells in your pancreas and they start producing insulin. Insulin is needed to turn glucose, sugar, into energy. Type 1 diabetes is not preventable or curable and has fewer than 200,000 cases in the U.S. per year. It's different than type 2 diabetes because it's not caused by lifestyle. With type 1 diabetes, the beta cells in the pancreas fail to make insulin, causing blood sugar levels to elevate. Insulin is the hormone used to convert sugar into the bloodstream into energy. With glucose in the bloodstream and no insulin, the glucose is not being turned into energy. The sugar builds up in the blood and can result in diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA. DKA can be dangerous and may result in many complications. Symptoms of a normal high blood sugar include thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision, and hunger. If the blood sugar is high enough for long enough, sudden and unexplained weight loss but increased hunger may occur. Symptoms of DKA include nausea, fruity smelling breath, confusion, and vomiting. DKA and high blood sugar are not the same. When the, con when the blood sugar is high enough, the body finds other ways to make energy by burning body fat. When you burn body fat, you produce ketones. Ketones are like ashes left over from a fire, but instead of burning wood, you're burning your body fat. This causes the weight loss, and the weight loss causes the hunger. After being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, insulin shots are needed, and so is checking blood sugar frequently. Some type 1 diabetics choose to test with a meter, by poking their finger and letting the test strip read the number, but most people use a continuous glucose monitor like Dexcom D6 or Freestyle Libre. These systems measure the interstitial glucose level by inserting a tiny needle under the skin. The interstitial glucose level is a sugar level found in the fluids in between cells. A CTM has a small patch over it, and a Dexcom needs to be changed every 10 days, while a Freestyle Libre is changed every 14 days. The type of diabetes most people know about is type 2 or adult onset diabetes. In type 2, insulin is produced, but it doesn't work. Type 2 can be diagnosed early as prediabetes with a fasting blood sugar 100 to 125. A typical fasting blood sugar is about less than 100. Blood sugar that's fasting blood sugar is your blood sugar after a period of fasting like sleep. So, to check your fasting blood sugar, check your blood sugar when you wake up. Normal fasting blood glucose is less than 100, prediabetes 100 to 125, and diabetes is over 25, 125. Prediabetes can often be reversed with diet and healthy lifestyle, but often this is too hard and results in type 2 diabetes. However, type 1 is not caused by this. Doctors are not sure what causes T1D, but it may be triggered by a virus or genetic. genetic. There is no cure and it's usually diagnosed out of the blue with no warning like prediabetes. Type 1 is not curable by diet or lifestyle changes, so type 1 diabetics are allowed to eat anything as long as they give an insulin shot for it. Because you are not making insulin anymore, so you just take replacement insulin. Not you need to eat healthier so the insulin works again. If a person has T1D, they'll need the insulin injections before they eat and one before bed. Artificial fast-acting insulin takes two hours to work, so blood sugars will rise between the eating time and when the insulin will begin to work. That's like, that's called spiking. See, this is an example. The pancreas is not controlling the amount of insulin you're getting. You are, so you might, um, get low blood sugar if you're on injections since insulin turns the sugar in the blood into energy if your pancreas doesn't moderate the amounts of insulin it may burn too much of the sugar and you'll feel, sh feel shaky and weak if low blood sugar occurs a fast acting sugary food like juice box or candy is needed if blood sugar is too low and it causes unconsciousness or seizure then an injection called glucagon is given Glucagon causes a sudden release of sugar in the bloodstream. However, it should only be given if the person is unconscious or not responding. 
because it can cause vomiting, hypotension or low blood pressure, and fast heart rate. If glucagon is given for a blood sugar that is not low or only slightly low, glucagon will make the blood sugar too high and result in all the problems that come with that. To give insulin, you can use a needle, pen, or pump. Some examples of pumps are the Medtronic, Omnipod, and T-Slim. They give a very small amount of fast-acting insulin constantly, instead of taking one shot of long-acting insulin once. For meals, you can give a bolus, which is giving insulin through the pump. I don't have the pump, so I can't tell you too much about it, but some pumps can connect to CJM and suspend the insulin if you're low and give you more insulin if you're high. Type 1 diabetes has no cure, no prevention, and no warning. It can be a very hard to condition to live with. I hope you learned more about type 1 diabetes.